You're chilling with C Note the Greatest. It's on. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's good, everybody? It's your boy C Note, and I am back again with another NBA 2K19 video. I feel like it's been forever since I dropped another video for you guys, and if you guys ever miss my voice, yo, y'all just hit me up on Instagram because I'm about to be dropping some more videos for you guys. I know you guys missed this 2K content, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So, I got a lot of love for the last time I did this, and today we're going to be looking at one of the best pure sharpshooting builds in this game. So, if you guys already know, the meta for 2K is pretty much have a shooter. Either going to be a sharpshooter or a, or, well, a pure sharpshooter or a shot create and sharpshooter that, that's pretty much where people are going to nowadays and either you got a guard or you got a power forward you know stretch big but today we're going to be looking at something completely different now this is something that i really didn't talk about but i feel like you guys should know this all right you guys should know that 2k shows love to very few builds i mean like when i when i say shows love i'm talking about the animations aren't crazy out of whack shout out to you post scores out there you guys probably know what i'm talking about but i'm just looking for a build that's been pretty much lit every single year and i think i found that now like i said before we will be looking into the pure sharp shooting builds i will have a jump shot for you guys maybe today i might double upload i might double upload more i don't know just to get this 2k content out for you guys but it's coming soon all right i, I know you guys need a jump shot well, some of you guys. But if you're new to the channel, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment, all right? Leave a comment. What video should I do next? If it's a face scan or if it's a whatever you guys want to see, it, it doesn't matter. I'm just dropping content for you guys and we just about to be lit. If you guys haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram down below in the description. Now, let's go ahead and get into this video, man. So we are finally back to this wonderful screen where a lot of you guys have seen either recently or a long time ago. This is where we're going to be creating our brand new player. So of course you guys already know that the point guards, they get better, you know, ball handling and passing abilities and badges. The shooting guards get better shooting badges and abilities, but the one position that I want to bring to you guys' attention is going to be the small forward position. Small forwards are just in the middle. They're just right to do whatever you want. Now, in 2K, you guys already know that just by your height and your wingspan, remarkably, you're able to play godlike defense, which is crazy to me because it's like saying just because you're tall, you should play basketball. But... Besides the point, you're tall, you got some arms on you, and you can play defense. Now, this is going to be a pure sharpshooter, which you guys already know that they can't really play a lick of defense unless you know what you're doing. And if you know what you're doing, this is going to be a very scary build. Now, let's go ahead and get into it, and we're going to choose the small forward position. We get the height, we get the wingspan, we get all that. So pretty much, we're going to be a pure stretch four but just a little just a little bit faster all right we're just going to be fast and i'm already sick and tired of the pure stretch fours out there and you're going to give one some speed you already know what's going to happen so of course our primary skill is going to be three point shooting as our secondary as well and for you guys that do not know the badges on this build we're going to go ahead and get into those as well so you see here we have four hall of fame badges we got corner specialist, deep range dead eye, catch and shoot, and also free throw aids. Not really a surprise, maybe to a, some of you that have guards that are pure sharps because you're probably looking at that limitless range and seeing that it's on gold and you probably feel some type of way. But have no fear, limitless range on gold is still very effective. Now, looking at our gold badges, we still get limitless range, pick and popper, tireless score, and also quick reflexes. For our silver badges, we get mid-range deadeye, difficult shots, teardropper, and also up and under specialist. Now to round everything off, we do get two bronze badges, defensive stopper, and also charge card. Now the reason why I really wanted to go with a small forward is because the shot contest is already broke. That's why the pure stretch fours are already godlike. 
We, we've already seen the Duke Dennis's. We already seen all them pure builds out there that are just straight shooters. And we know what they can do. If you think you got your hand in their eye, you're probably wrong. And that's scary. So the fact that I got a taller player that's still going to have the same effect. He still get those deadly Hall of Fame badges. And we still get limitless range on gold, bro. I, bro, no fear in my heart when I'm bringing out this build. So looking at the next step is going to be our height. What should our height be for a small forward? Now, I did want to go too tall because, you know, it starts messing up a few of your stats. And I really don't want that. All right. So we already know that the tallest you can make your small forward is 6'10". The shortest you can make them is 6'6". Six six. I, I feel like why would you make a small forward 6'6"? Six six? If you can just make a shooting guard. So for this video, we're going to make our height six foot nine. Six foot nine gives us a great amount of abilities to where we can just get past anybody. Now, of course, our layups are going to take a hit because, yo, we're not supposed to be doing those anyway. It's We're going to live and die by the three with this build. And six nine, I do feel that makes the cut when it comes to that height. So six nine is where we're going to go for this video. Now, the next important part that I want to stress to you guys is going to be your weight. The worst thing that you can do in 2K because you really don't get anything out of it is maximize your weight. Now, we already know that we're not really going to be, you know, a ball hound on defense. Like, we're not going to be strapping up. We're not going to have a contact dunk. We're not going to do any of that. We really don't need strength for this build. So, I thought that it would be safe for us to minimize the weight because this is going to give us a little bit more boost in speed with ball, a little bit of a boost with lateral quickness, a little bit of vertical, a little bit of acceleration, all that. We really don't need strength, box out, and contact dunk because we're not slashers. You know what I'm saying? We're not going in the paint. So, I'm sorry if you got a pure sharp out there and all you want to do is take layups or try to dunk on people. That's not going to happen with this build, all right? So 190 pounds is what we went with for this video. And I feel that this is the safest option because instead of strength, we're giving up the strength to get a little boost of speed. And I want the speed. We're going to go on no one-man fast breaks. We're going to be, bro, we're going to be doing it all. Now, for the next part is going to be very important. It is our wingspan. This step right here can either make or break your shooting build. We already know that the longer the wingspan, the better defender, all right? So if you're looking for defense, maximize your wingspan, but it will take away from your shooting stats. So we know that the shorter the wingspan, the better the shooter. And uh, we are small forwards. We're gonna be playing a little bit of defense, but the thing that I did not want to do was put our wingspan all the way down. Now, for you guys that want to see the wingspan all the way down, I will show you these stats right here. So, of course, you're going to be able to shoot better, all right? You're going to be able to shoot better, but you're also going to be taking a hit when it comes to your steals or your shot contests, and we really don't want that. We, we got the height. Why would we, you know, suck out the little bit of defense that we can play with this build already? So, right here, I'm not really going to go over too many of them because I'm pretty sure for a pure shark, you really want to know the shooting stats. So, for the shooting stats, your contested mid, 85, open mid, 93, moving, 92, your contested three, 86, open shot three is a 94, moving is a 89, all right? But this is not the one that we're going with, all right? So, if you guys are interested in having those stats, feel free to do that. I had to show you guys, you know, what it looked like. But the build or the wingspan that I'm going with is going to be 86.4. It is only two notches to the left. We don't want to minimize our wingspan because I feel that we can still shoot with this wingspan and we'll be able to play a little bit more defense compared to the minimum wingspan. And I kind of want that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be 6'9 just getting bullied for no reason. So looking at the stats for this one, our standing layups is a 76. Our shot close is a 76. So when we go down here to our shooting, contested shot mid is an 86. Open shot mid is an 89. Moving shot mid, a 90. Now here's the good part. Contested shot three is an 87. Open shot three is a 91. While your moving shot three is going to be an 87. 
I really love the shooting stats on this player build, and I feel that you can do great things with this dude. Now, we already know about the NBA, what was it, the little jump shot website. You just need an 85, like stand in three, and you're going to be Gucci. So you get that, plus you're going to have takeover, you can, you can buy boost. This build is everything that you need, bro. It is everything that you need. We already know there's going to be a lack on defense because this is a offensive-minded player. He's just a straight shooter. He's just a straight shooter. But this has been the build, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. I'm sticking to the small forward. So next year, if you catch me out here, I'm probably going to have a shooting guard. But my main dude is going to be a small forward. I'm going to need that height. I'm gonna, Bro, I'm going to be shooting over everybody here. So unless they change something, I'm going to let y'all know. But small forward is where I'm going to stick with for the rest of my 2K career. You know what I'm saying? I pretty much played every position. Oh, no, I did play the small forward position in 18. And I was pretty lit. I had a pure sharp over there too. But this has been your boy, man. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. And uh, if you guys want a jump shot video also today, make sure to smash the like button. I ain't dropping this joint until we get like 100 likes. All right, I need 100. 100 people smash the like button, and I'm dropping that joint today. I'm dropping the jump shot today. And it's going to be the best one for pretty much. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. But until next time, it's been your boy Sino, and I'm getting up out of here, man. Peace. What's it going to take to get that milli up? Uh? Pop up and turn the VIC, I'm getting silly, uh Whole club turn the VIP when we step in the building, uh I got money going up, I treat it like my children, uh Can't stop me, I been going hard today Cross up like Jesus or Penny Hardaway, uh I can't take the easy route, got the harder way I been sipping scissor, but I'm barely walking straight